This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Vanguard Bandits. In the last episode, we ran across Sadira's brother, Dyer, and found out that there's some uh, heavy sibling rivalry between the two because Sadira wanted her freedom and slugged the, the throne onto Dyer since he was the firstborn. But he apparently wanted his own freedom and wanted to give it to her and drag her back to the capital. Well, we beat them, despite our obviously not caring about this situation, but we had to because he's fighting us. And Well, we're on to the next thing, so let's find out what happens today, folks. All right, let's start with the reviews, like always. Oh, everyone's liking good old Bastion. Anyway. It might all be too late, Bastion, but you need to start showing Sadira that you're in charge, not her. And that's going to be a little hard for the spoiled princess, but we'll try. Bastion, have you ever tried Cajun style food? All you have to do is set it on fire, stomp it out, eat it. Cause I'm fat! Uh. Hey, who went into my bag and stole my massage oils? I'll have you know those are very expensive. Well, apparently uh, Andrew keeps massage oils around. Uh, who knew? Anyway, let's reload that. And then do the other ones. I'm glad you decided to come to the aid of Duke Sarah. It was honorable, as Camor Camorgue would have said. I don't know. Oh, that's right. We were going off to help uh, Zara with his little issues. So, uh, to capture the capital. That's what we're doing today. Sorry, this is what happens when you don't play for a week. You forget little details. Bastion, could you rub my feet when this battle's over? I always got foot rubs in the Imperial Palace. I am not a foot person, and that's gross. Seriously. I mean, if someone likes feet, that's fine, but that is not my thing. Touch a touching feet, I, I really don't like. I don't even like touching my own feet. Alright, looks like we're in the... I mean, this looks like the Ferratian capital, but eh, whatever. Commander Sackoff is very stubborn and very stupid. We need to beat him so badly that he gives up his evil ways forever. Yeah, because that's how it works. Violence to violence. That makes people stop doing things. And... How do we make you give up your evil way, Sadira? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, this 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 uh, this uh, this path is definitely more comedic than the others. That's for sure. They're purposely doing jokes like that. Well, anyway, all right. Prepare yourself, Zach. Huh? Every one of these is a sharking. I thought Zakov was the only one. Zakov was the only one. Sadira, you never said that there was more than one. How could they have hidden all these from you? They couldn't have, Bastion. These must have been built recently. Faulkner will stop at nothing to take over the continent. Let's discuss this later, shall we? The townspeople are still in danger. Stop your activities once, Imperial dogs. Surrender or perish. The Kingdom Army? Excellent. Now we can truly demonstrate the power of the new Imperial Army! Uh oh. Oh boy, we got a uh, ton of sharkings. Alright, looks like we're in the town map here, so a lot of blocking off points, which would help against. Well, that may or may not help against sharkings because of the fact they can use Cutting Wheel, which is a ranged ability. Let's see, we've got three, four, five, six, eight sharkings here. Alright, they're all level 19. High weapon, of course, for damage in that case. Uh. Yeah? Ooh, sorry, I'm recording this a little bit late for other projects, so... Yeah, so base high damage like before, but I don't think it's anything we should have to worry about for the most part. I don't think any more people make an appearance during this fight, so... Oh, I guess I should, uh... Check my, uh... Let's see, what are my levels at? Everyone's pretty good. Uh, if everyone can gain a level, that'd be, that'd be fine. Uh, yeah, see the map there? Nothing... Nothing too unique. And annihilate the enemy. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Feed me. World 1-1. One, one. Um, how do I want to do this? Yeah, that'll work, I think. Don't want to put... Have Sidir up to go out too far. Okay, just annoying. Nice. Ah. 
She didn't have 100% accuracy on hitting those dudes, so. Alright, here they come. Um, that will defend, I think. Sorry, it's, I have allergies as well. I know how lovely it is when you can hear that right in the, right in the mic. It's just delicious, honey. Yeah, dang it, cutting wheel. Oh well. I think that's some decent range on that ability. Luckily, I was getting lucky with those uh, um, avoidance, avoidances, whatever. <laughs> nice. I was sneaking up behind him and, and smack him. Smack him so bad, they want to never go back. Like the sugar smack sprog or something like that. Let me see, is it good counter? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll help, uh... Ugh! I really hate that. Why is it always her that she, like, gets just attacked by everyone, basically? Maybe I'll just stick her around here. Yeah. I guess I really can't, can't use her for attacking at the time, otherwise she might get smacked up. really need to raise her power. She does not do a lot of advanced damage as I... Oh, right. I forgot I used her spiral dive earlier. Yeah, spiral dive's awesome. It does a lot of damage, but yeah, it uses up a ton of FP. It's actually better probably to have, like, a ice unit right next to her. So we can, ah, nuts. So, we can, so she can use it more frequently. That's a decent combo, actually. Having Sidira use a spiral way, uh, dive every round if you can do it. Guess we'll just uh, attack this guy all at once. Oh, nice. Uh, that'll work, I think. Get that somersault in there. That's the damage dealer right there. Whew. I could just tackle him. That'll work. I mean, she might miss, but they'll still be better than nothing. Yeah, I still got a bit to go before I can, uh, I'm gonna be able to unlock his final ability by the end of this game. Just because of, uh. I don't know, the way I was leveling him up, anyway. Let's see. Who goes next? Amelia, but I don't even know if she'll be able to kill him. I mean, I could try, but. Ah. Booyah. At least we've got a couple of pretty good damage dealers in the group. Oh, I finally learned Melia's Blizzard Break. Alright, let's use that. I think I've showed you before, but I'll show you again. Oh, nice. It's actually hit, too. Ha ha! Well, apparently you're a savant in this, ver in this uh, version of the game. Ooh. Very nice. Yep, gonna keep counting her, so I have to keep doing abilities that won't hurt her. Yeesh. Yeah, I hate to say it, Reyna in, in actual combat probably isn't a very useful character, because she's... Ugh, God, quit hitting my highest agility dude! What the heck, game? Just can't do the damage, I guess. Actually, I'm just gonna earthquake on him, I was just... Yeah, 
air to make it killed, maybe. Now, luckily, some of those guys aren't moving. Maybe I just haven't hit into their range or something like that. Oh, now he's trying to strike slash me. When did that come about? What? Can I do with the strike? Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. And he did it. He hit anyway. Golly. See, this is why agility's only good at the... Oh. Uh, agility's only good at the beginning of the game. After after a point, it becomes... Uh, um, After a point, after you hit the end game, then it becomes really difficult. God, stop trying to frickin' critter, or, or uh, you know, auto attacker, whatever you want to call it. Man, I I was doing well at the beginning with those dodges, but not anymore. Maybe I bit off slightly a bit more than I could chew when I think about it. Ugh. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with more defense and HP so I can actually survive a couple of hits. Will he actually auto hit me? Yes, he will. Of course. Yeah, I actually hit him with her. Yeah. Let's finish him off with that if he if she hits. Excellent. Everything is coming up Baltimore today. Not really. I'm probably gonna lose rain in here pretty soon, I bet. Because I got attacked with because now they're beginning to get up on her. I'd rather give that to Reyna if I can do that. When's her turn come up again? After a couple of the Imperials go, so... Should be enough time to... Please don't hit. Thank you. With a 30%. I was hope. Oh, she's gonna die, isn't she? Oh, good. I was thinking she might. She might still, but really, I don't do enough damage with her. Ah, come on, Reina. Oh. Oh yeah, nice. Barlo for the win. Yeah, as long as Bastion doesn't die, we're still good either way. Oh, can finally use that again. Get a ton of damage out of the way. No, oh, leave her alone, you bastards! I can say that in this recording. I, I'm... Ugh. Well, and now he's out, too. He's probably gonna die, so there's that. Hooray? Oh, at least he's avoiding now. Probably because he'll die if he if he doesn't. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! There we go. Yay! It didn't give as much experience as I thought it would. As the Imperial Princess, I order you to stop using those Atax at once. You're not the princess anymore. You've been declared a traitor to the Empire by Prince Dyer. Well, this is what happens when you beat the crud out of him in a previous episode. All Imperial soldiers have explicit orders to bring you to the capital for trial and to kill you if you resist. Whoa. I didn't think Dyer hated you that much. What? A, a, a t -t 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 traitor? And then she smacks the crap out of him. Eh, okay, good. 
Ah, oh, come on, man. 29%. You're, you were... Ugh. This game is just not treating me right. He ain't treating me right. What? Well, he can, he, he can hit... Uh, he can take a hit like that, but still. Oh, and, uh, oh good. Uh, Andrew got his uh, groove back. Oh, nice. Might go, since she's got Blizzard Break now, I'll go ahead and upgrade her pal so she can actually do a decent amount of damage now. Give her a little extra damage. Okay, we should have it now, now that we've, uh, oops. Probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, we're, we're, I think we're good. Now I can kind of just, well, okay. I could speed through it, but I guess we won't. Are you kidding me? 24%! God, XCOM, it keeps coming back to bite me in the butt, even after all these years. I keep making note of that. If you ever want a game that just, like, teaches you that just percentages will just not work the way they're supposed to, play, play XCOM. You'll know. I swear, I've, I've done things in that game, like, that I should hit with a 99% and I miss. And yet the enemy will have like a, t a like a one percent chance to miss, and they'll hit me, which will kill a dude. Ugh. Let's just say anger anger rises at me when I play those types of games, and not for not without good reason. I mean, when you think you have a clear e a edge or win a possible win, and then you know stuff like that happens, you gotta gotta respect those that can keep their cool when that does happen. Uh, well, I guess this teaches you to not put everything into, uh, put everything into agility, despite the fact that, you know, that's probably the best early game method of, of avoiding damage. These new attacks don't intimidate me, maggots. But you should fear, uh, be fearful, rebel. Soon the Imperial Army will be an endless wave of sharkings. The rivers of the kingdom will run red with the blood of its soldiers. Listen to the glee in your voice, you twisted bastard. I will be happier still when I kill you. You don't have the skills to beat me, you sadistic fool. Yeah, you're pretty much uh, F SOL in this case. We shall win. Because really we have... You're surrounded by four dudes. I mean, come on. What is the deal? Yeah, you're pretty much you're you're done. You're done, son. My level is that for everyone. Yeah, everyone's got. Oh, actually, Millie has too many levels. I'll just leave leave that for someone else then. Yeah, sure. Why not? You finish them off. There we go. A single squad of Sharkings was almost impossible for us to defeat. An army of Sharkings would be unstoppable. Yeah, well, I guess we gotta do something about it. Perhaps go to the capital and uh, stop them? Perhaps? No? Maybe? Yes? If what they say was true, Bastion, the continent is in grave danger. There's no reason to doubt them. The Empire has the resources to make hundreds of sharking. Where are they getting all these resources from? Where's all this mining operation and stuff? They never talk about it. Uh, they just say they'd somehow have it. Yeah, whatever. It's fancy. This is all because of Faulkner! We really had to stop him, Bastion, and we had to do it quickly. If it's not already too late. It's never too late, Million, not when Bastion is leading the charge. <laughs> Glad it would get you nowhere with me, Andrew, but thank you. I merely tried to fight with honor as I was taught by my father. Now let's go and stop this madness once and for all. The fastest route is to the Imperial Capital is almost directly to the Northeast. Let's go! Bastion, if we go that way, we'll be traveling directly through the center of Nordland. 
which considering our status with the, both the Kingdom and the Empire, is probably a very bad idea. Come now, people, don't you all remember who I am? A spoiled brat. Yeah, that's, that's right, game. Right on the nose. A very rude girl? Yep. Wrong and wrong! I'm the Imperial Princess. I thought you gave up that title, basically. Actually, you're a fugitive from your own country. And you really don't have to speak so loudly when you're all within 10 feet of you. Uh, you don't understand. Nor delay the Empire allies. They're sure to let us pass without incident. Reyna, is there any other route we could take to the capital, or are we left without a choice? Every other path would take three times as long, Bastion, and we can't waste even a moment. Bastion! I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yell into the mic like that. Don't you have any faith in me? I have faith only in your uncanny ability to lead us into trouble. As do I. Oh, I see. You're joking with me. Why didn't I realize this sooner? No. No, we're not. We're not joking. Besides, I think the chance of our encounter with the Nordlane army at least two to one to two. One, one, one to two? What does that even mean? I think those are wonderful odds. Actually, those are terrible odds. You meant two to one, which aren't very good either. Oh, <laughs> so he even points out the fact that that's wrong too. Nice. And the odds that she's not about to scream are about a million to one. Come on, we're leaving. Yep, you win, Melia. Guess who, uh, guess, uh, who, who guesses we're going to get attacked by Norway in three, two, one. We're almost at, across the, <laughs> we're almost across the border. And we haven't encountered or detected any attacks. Perhaps the Nordlane army has been set into battle against the Empire. Didn't I tell you this would work? And I'm sure you'll be telling us for a long time to come. <laughs> this is this is very strange. We're boldly strolling through the middle of Nordlane. We should have encountered something. Are you gonna test our our, our luck, Bastion? I'm just counting my blessings that we haven't. <laughs> time to reset the count, honey bomb, because we have eight attacks dead ahead. And bingo, there we go. You jinx us, Reyna. That's the cri that's the crimson. Oh, good, Duke Logan. Good, he's arguably the strongest warrior of the continent. He he won't want to fight us, silly. Not after I sweet talk him. Ugh, that doesn't sound good. And we decide to romance this woman in another in another uh, storyline. Well, whatever the case. Uh, the princess is going to get us into trouble. So, in the next episode of uh, Vanguard Bandits, we're going to find out if the if the Lord of Nordlane will attack us or let us go. Well, you obviously know the answer, but the rest we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>